5 of the Handyman's Robotics Hand Unit Repair System, but you can call me Hand Unit. Please enter your name as seen above the keypad. This cannot be changed later, so please be careful. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. One moment. Welcome. Ex Benedict. Allow me to fill this somewhat frightening silence with some light-hearted banter. Due to the massive success and even more so the unfortunate closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, it was clear that the stage was set, no pun intended, for a new in children's entertainment. Unlike most entertainment venues, our robotic entertainers are rented out for private parties during the day, and it's your job to get the robots back in proper working order before the following morning. You are now in the primary control module. View the window to your left. This is the Ballora Gap party room and dance studio. Let's turn on the light and see if Ballora is on stage. Press the blue button on the elevated keypad to your left. Uh oh, it looks like Ballora doesn't feel like dancing. Let's give her some motivation. Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. Maybe that will put the spring back in her step. Let's check the light again. Excellent. Ballora is feeling her old self again and will be ready to perform again tomorrow. Now view the window to your right. This is the Funtime Auditorium, where Funtime Foxy encourages kids to play and share. Try the light. Let's see what Funtime Foxy is up to. Looks like Funtime Foxy is taking the day off. Let's motivate Funtime Foxy with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. <laughs> Looks like Funtime Foxy is in perfect working order. Great job! In front of you is another vent shaft. Crawl through it to reach the Circus Gallery control module. side of the glass is Circus Baby's Auditorium. Let's check the light and see what Baby is up to. Looks like a few of the lights are out, but we can fix that later. Let's encourage Baby to cheer up with a controlled shock. Let's try a 
another controlled shock. Great job, Circus Baby. We knew we could count on you. That concludes your duties for your first night on the job. We don't want you to leave overwhelmed, otherwise you might not come back. Please leave using the vent behind you, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Unique and fulfilling work experience. One part of that commitment is ensuring that you don't get tired of the voice that you're hearing right now. Using the keypad below, please select a new companion voice. For male, press 1. For female, press 2. For text only, press 3. For other options, press 4. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for choosing... Angsty Team. stopped. You know the routine. You can get up now or whatever. Stay here if you want. So, funny story. A dead body was found in this vent once. Okay, so not that funny, but it's a story. Let's start with your nightly chores. You should check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage, but whatever. Huh. I guess Ballora has better things to do. Let's zap her. That should be fun. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. Make sure he's ready for showtime tomorrow. Great. 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 There seems to have been a problem with the voice synthesizer. Default setting. Please proceed through the vent ahead of you to Circus Baby's auditorium. Check the light and make sure she's in proper working order. Oh, Circus Baby, we aren't here to play hide and seek. Let's encourage Baby to come out of hiding with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. There seems to be a power malfunction that is affecting our ability to properly motivate baby. Please stand by while I reboot the system. I will be offline momentarily during this process. Various other systems may be offline as well. 
such as security doors, vent locks, and oxygen. Commencing system restart. I don't recognize you. You are new. I remember this scenario, however. It's a strange thing to want to do, to come here. I'm curious what events would lead a person to want to spend their nights in a place like this. Killing me. Maybe curiosity. Maybe ignorance. There is a space under the desk. Someone before you crafted it into a hiding place, and it worked for him. I recommend that you hurry, though. You will be safe there. Just try not to make eye contact. It will be over soon. They will lose interest. 